everyone welcome back so today we are building in the new world that came with the love struck expansion pack um, right now as you can see I'm just kind of giving you guys a little overview here of what the outside looks like because um, if you've seen any of my other videos you know I tend to kind of just build the outside off camera and then just kind of give you guys a little overview of what it looks like just because <laughs> it takes me a long time to do the outside I don't know why I just get a little too over the top and crazy with it sometimes in my builds and it would just be really really long because this video is already over like a half an hour I think so um I didn't want it to be like super long so I just kind of did this outside and then you'll see all the rooms so this build is going to be like a motel um, because I know we get one with a new pack, but it's just like a rabbit hole where your sims can go So it's not really like a motel you can use. Um, so my idea for this one was Like I set it as like a rental kind of So all the rooms are like their own units and then the rest of the build is the community part so um, Each room you would have to move a sim into but then everything else is just kind of like for all sims to use so I would just kind of imagine like maybe this was like an old motel. That's why it's like all run down and there's grime and cracks in the walls and stuff. So maybe this was like a nice motel at one time. Then it was run down and abandoned. And maybe like the six Sims or whatever, how many um, that live here kind of just like took over this motel. And they didn't really do much renovating on the outside. They didn't try to really like fix it up. They added some tables and some like just some amenities, but, like, the rooms that they stay in themselves are what they really renovated to make their own. So, the rest of the motel, as you'll see, is very run down, very disheveled. They put, like, a lot of stains on the walls and a lot of cracks, and this is kind of, this room right here is also part of the community. This is just kind of, like, the check-in area. So, I put a computer in here, which is functional, and some chairs, and I did, you'll see later on, I put like a little coffee pot with like some fake snacks because I figured like maybe that's where in this motel they used to come and like come down and get coffee or whatnot. So yeah, I put a couple functioning items in here, but I really just wanted this to kind of look like this used to be the, um, you know, the check-in area where you would come and check into the motel. But this room, you know, they kind of just left alone because it didn't really matter. Um, they kind of just use it as is, but I did make the rooms there's no grime on the wall or cracks or anything in any of the actual bedrooms or units because I wanted it to look like they actually took care into renovating you know those rooms to live in um but I kind of did a different colored door you'll see in each um unit and then I based the room on that so I'll go into more detail when I get to those rooms but that's kind of where I was going with I'm like all right let me I was looking at the new doors from Love Struck and they all had like different colors and I was like, oh, that's perfect. So I'll just do a different color and then I'll base the room on the color of the door and then I'll base the theme of the room on that color or kind of how I'm feeling. Um, you'll also see that I put like this mural on the wall in this room and it's, I think it's from high school years and it has like, um, it has like, it's like a graffiti type thing and it has, I think five or six Sims on it. Um, and they look kind of young adult or teenager. So I thought maybe that is the Sims that live in this old, like, abandoned motel that they renovated. Like, maybe these are runaways or just Sims that, you know, can't really afford to, like, live in a nice house or anything right now. So, you know, and they painted a mural of themselves in, you know, this room to represent, okay, this is us that's staying um, and we're the ones that live here. Um, so yeah, I kind of, cause I needed something to go on that wall cause it was just like a big empty wall. And then I saw that and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. And you know, maybe that could be, you know, who's staying here. But yeah, so like I said, this is just like the community space. This is where you would have checked in if it was still a motel. So I added just like a bunch of like, you know, piles of paper and boxes and, you know, just stuff that kind of just looked like thrown all over the place. And then, like I said, I put that coffee pot there because, you know, maybe that was here when the motel was in. And this is where you can come get your, like, coffee and your breakfast in the morning. Because uh, <laughs> we did just recently take my dogs on vacation, like, two weeks ago. Um, if you know, I have a 13-year-old dog, and we just got a puppy. She's going to be eight months. So we like to take them um, on a little trip. So we did, like, an overnight kind of, like, we took them on a train during the day, um, 
I live in New Jersey, so we took them up to Pennsylvania, and they go on a train, and then, you know, we walked them along the water, and it was just, like, a really great time, and and my older dog has been on multiple trains, he's been on a boat, he's been on a bus, he's been on everything, he's, he's really a good boy, so, um, but yeah, anyway, we just took them on vacation, so we just stayed in kind of like a, not a rundown motel, it was actually it's actually really not really nice but for you know a pet friendly hotel it's nice um but yeah I was just kind of like picking up because like in the morning when we got up you know before we left you kind of walk down to like this communal space and you kind of can get like coffee and just like a little muffin or something so that's kind of like I was kind of going off of where I just was (laughs) so that's why I made you know I was trying to think of I was like oh I want to make like a motel or a hotel and then you know just trying to think of like oh what do they have so yeah so they had like a little community coffee pot and you know that kind of stuff so that's why I stuck that in that corner but yeah anyway um uh I do have pictures if you want to check out our little vacation and see my dogs. My older dog actually has a TikTok, and we put the puppy on there now, or I put the puppy on there now. So if you want to go check it out, it's at Packers underscore punts. Um, He has TikTok, and he has an Instagram if you guys want to check out any pictures or any cute little, you know, just I post, like, all the fun things. Um, We actually did a costume contest kind of thing on the weekend also while I was off. Um, so you can see them in their little costumes because I dressed him up and now her, I dress them both up like all the time and we do a bunch of, you know, fun costumes and stuff with the dog. So you can check all that out. So yeah, go follow my puppy. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, it's Packers underscore punts. Um, cause my dog's name is Packers and the new puppy's name is Lambo cause we are Green Bay fans. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, back to the build. So this is going to be the first room And this is kind of like the romance room. Um, I wanted to use a lot from the new Love Struck pack. So I used the new bed, the new tables, the candles, the mirror, the rug. Like all that over there that you see is mostly from the new pack. And then you can see I was a little cheeky and I put a little couple lotions and tissues on the table and a little bit of, you know, like a little glass of wine. Because I figured like this is kind of like, like I said, the romance room where, you know, your Sims like to have that little bit of a romantic fun (laughs) oh and then I put a new one of those like um I guess it's kind of like a suitcase but you can your sims can wear couples costumes and like dress up and like have you know their fun freaky time (laughs) so I put one of those in the corner and then I had this door here and I didn't want to get rid of it um because I wanted your sims to have access like two types of access in a lot of the rooms um and they could go out the back and then go like to the back part of the build so I just kind of um I wanted to cover it with a curtain, but none of them looked right, so I ended up putting a divider here, um, and I just kind of split it off from the room. I don't, I play tested some of these, most of these rooms, everything seemed to be functional, but I think I forgot to play test to make sure you can go in and out this door, so um, it's not really that big of a deal because you can go out the front and around, so I'm just going to leave it, um, but it, I think it is. I think I saw one of my Sims, but I'm not positive, so if it's not functional, I apologize. I tried to play test everything, like the bathrooms and all the community spots and stuff to make sure that your Sims can get into the beds, get to the bathrooms, because each you know unit has their own bathroom, so I was trying to like play test the majority and the major things in the build to make sure they work. Um, but I think I forgot to play test that door. But like I said, there's a front door, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I just separated it from that um, just because I didn't want it like there to be get your Sims could be spied on in that room with that door there. So I just wanted to block it off. But yeah, that's really it for the main room. And then I used those cute little they're like heart confettis and stuff. These right here on the floor. I think those just came with that new kit. It's like the party party essential kit, party something kit. Um, it came out a little while ago. Um, I think it was one of the most recent kits. But, yeah, I thought that was really cute. And I thought it was nice to put that in here. Because um, I thought it just added to, like, the love part of it. And I just think those are cool. I always forget that, you know, we have stuff like that. Uh, I could have sworn we had another floor confetti from one of the other packs. I thought it was the My Wedding Story. But I couldn't find it. So, if there is another confetti, let me know. Because I swore we had another one besides the party pack, like, before that. But I honestly, I couldn't find it or I just was looking in the wrong spot. But yeah, anyway, this is just the bathroom. I should have cut out the bathrooms in some of these rooms, but I kind of left them all because they're really quick and, you know, I didn't take much time in the bathrooms. I kind of just made them pretty basic. They just have, some of them have a tub and some of them have a shower. Um, But yeah, this is my romantic, like, 
sim like the sim's very into romance very into love very into you know either finding that one sim or maybe just exploring with a bunch of different sims but yeah each room i have is like a different theme so that's kind of where the theme i was going with this room so that's why it's very red and very black and you know it's just like a red and black and pink kind of room and it's very like you know romantic <laughs> but that's why I kind of why I gave a tub in this bathroom too because I feel like maybe the sim likes to take like long soaks in the tub um but yeah anyway we are moving on to the second bedroom or the second unit um and as you can see I forgot to take the lines off when I was building this because you could see the lines of each room from the um oh what is the kit we got with the um rentals why am I I'm drawing a blank I'm so sorry I can't think of the name of it I know the name of it um, but I am seriously drawing a blank. But anyway, the lines show up for each, um, unit. So, you know, like which one's designated to which rooms. And I always forget to turn that off. I always forget you can turn it off. And so I apologize that's in these builds, but in the upstairs, you'll see, I remember to turn it off, I think. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I feel like this sim is kind of the more girly sim, Maybe they're a little bit less lucky in love because um, I give them that little new stuffed animal that's like, I think it's like a heartbreak type of thing. Like if your sim has like bad relationships, you get you can get the stuffed animal. I don't know. I haven't really played with the new pack too much, but I just thought it was cute. So I was going for like more of a girly type in this room. Um, lots of pinks, lots of purples, but you know, they don't have like the nicest bed. I feel like, I feel like all these rooms besides maybe the last room, the furniture's not maybe the nicest. The Sims don't really have a lot of simoleons. They can't really afford to really renovate these rooms like with a lot. So I figured, um, like I'd use some more like, not rundown, but a little bit like items that look a little cheaper but like I wanted it to all come together and look nice um but I didn't want these rooms or these units to look like these sims really have a lot of money oh that's the little um the little stuffed um what is that a platypus what is that I don't know is it a duck I don't know what it is but it's super cute and I just felt like that and then I gave her like the little um it's the new bed that comes with the new pack and it's like the the like one that looks I think it's like just on a mattress on a spring or something so yeah, I just tried to use, I didn't want to use too much of the fancy beds at any of these. Um, some of them have nicer beds, some of them have nicer furniture, some of them don't. Like this one I gave her the nicer couch with the little lip couch because I figured like maybe some of this furniture she found at garage sales, maybe she found some like on her marketplace, you know. So they kind of just like maybe got some nice furniture than others that they kind of like pulled from different places and some like the bed she wasn't very lucky or he whatever whoever's in this room you know they weren't very lucky to find you know all their furniture that was new and nice um but yeah anyway so yeah I was making this like more of the girly sim that likes makeup and kind of likes to you know you know clothing and a little bit more fashion forward so I think I did put sims in each unit um just to play test it and I did kind of base them off of that mural like I said so this sim I think I ended up giving I gave them all careers I believe um and this sim was um what is it what's the career where you could be like the fashion like the stylist or something I think I gave them this career because I figured maybe they're very into clothing and like styling other sims so yeah that's kind of what I was going with and then these backdrops right here are also from that party kit um and I just thought they looked really cool back here and gave like another texture to the wall and just kind of added a little bit more color so I thought those are really cool so I added those in here too um because I don't know where else I'm gonna really use those um but I think for like girly bedrooms or teen bedrooms or just fun like party places that you build. I think they're really fun. I think you can use them in there. Um, yeah, and I just thought they added a little extra something. And I thought the pink looked really cool on here. And it just kind of broke up that wallpaper a bit. Because it was getting a little repetitive. Because I do use the same wallpaper in each room. Because I was, like I said, trying to make it look like maybe the Sims that live here all went to the same spot. And they all were like, okay, we all have the same wallpaper. But we're going to get it in a different color and renovate our our rooms to those colors you know so I kind of made it look like like it wasn't the most expensive that maybe they all have the same but they chose different colors and they chose different items in their units to make them all their personalities come out um 
but yeah, and I used a lot of those decals, I believe, are from high school years also. So I thought those were kind of cool to stick on there and add some more lighting and add some more character to the build. And I didn't want to put a bunch of like like paintings or stuff in here because I didn't feel like it fit in a lot of these builds. So I thought those were really cool. They added like a little extra something on the wall, but it didn't have to be like artwork or anything. It was just something a little different. So I like those decals. Um yeah, and then some Sims, like, I gave, like, a TV, but I went with, like, the TV from, I don't know if that's the Eco Lifestyle one, or there's a one in the basement kit that are kind of, like, that old, like, you know, ones that look like somebody just threw away, or, like, recycled or whatever, so I gave them those TVs, because I didn't want any of them to have, like, a nice, expensive, fancy TV, because I don't think they would. Like I said, I don't think these Sims are, like, you know, they don't have a lot of s simoleons, and they're not you know, they can't afford to buy really nice things and where they could, they spent the money. But other than that, you know, their stuff is kind of, like I said, found or recycled or reused or whatever the case is. But, um, but yeah, I tried to use like the cheapest, I didn't use the cheapest toilet, but I used one of the cheaper ones. And then I think I gave them all pretty cheap sinks. Um, and then like these, like the showers I gave them, I think these are from university. Um, they're not, like, the cheapest, but they're not. They're, like, one on the cheaper side. Um, some of them I just gave them, this, like, the other single shower that has, like, no cover over it from the university because I only had, like, a like this green one back here you'll see. I only had, like, what is it, four tiles or whatever. So, you know, I was limited in space. But, um, but yeah, this is really it for this room. Um, it's very pink, very purple. Like I said, it's very girly, so that's where I was going. And then this next room is going to be my, like, academic sim. Like, the one that likes to read or study or, you know, is just, like, pretty smart. So that's kind of the theme I was going with here. Um, and this is the green room. Um, so I used a lot. I don't know. I changed the bed and I changed that side table because... I just didn't like the green. It was kind of contrasting with the walls, and I didn't like the way it looked. But I used this t table from Werewolves, and I thought it looked really good. Um, I like that it looks like maybe they just pulled it off the street, or maybe they built it themselves. But it has, like, the book underneath it where, you know, it's, it's it needs the book, you know, to keep it stand, like, even. Um, and then I just gave him a folding chair because I thought that just looked really nice. Um, and then, like I said, I changed the bedding and the bed and the side table because I thought that green on those just matched really nice with the wall. Um, and then here I'm giving the bookcase. The one on the left is from the basement kit. And the one on the right, I can't remember where that one's from with the cinder blocks underneath. Um, but I just liked it because it looked DIY. Like they built these bookshelves themselves. Maybe the one on the left they pulled like off the side of the road. That's why some of the shelves are broken. They just haven't fixed it. Um... So yeah, like I said, some of the furnitures in these rooms are nicer and then some are not because I wanted it to be like a mix. And then I added a bunch of these posters, um, you know, to make them look more studious. Like these are like the reading posters and like the sciencey posters. And I gave them like these, um, not medals. They're like, um, uh, what do you call them? Ribbons. Like maybe they want them at a science fair or whatnot. And this is kind of like, you know, that's, they're showing them off and that's, like part of the decor. Um, and then I use these books, these little bookshelves. Those are from the book nook. I thought those are so cute because maybe they took old books that they finished reading and they put them together and made shelves out of them. And then they use that to like, you know, a shelving in the room. So I thought that was really cute. And I like those. And I really like the way they look. Um, and they just add to, like I said, this sim because the sim is like more studious. And I believe like they're just very smart and they just like to learn and they like to read. Um, and I did give this sim a computer. I tried to use one of the more cheaper ones. Um, so it's like that old boxy, like, computer from, like, the 90s. <laughs> um, because I feel like this sim maybe just, like, bought it on, you know, from somebody who was trying to get rid of it. And they just couldn't afford, like, an expensive computer. But they needed a basic one to do, you know, their studies. Or maybe they're pro learning to program or stuff like that. So I wanted them to have a computer, but I did not want them to have an expensive one. So I thought this one was perfect. Um, and then I was just trying to figure out what to clutter up here because I didn't know what kind of clutter this sim would have. I was trying to be more like scientific. And I gave them a little frog because I thought maybe that was like their little pet. And they had like a little frog in here. I don't know. I thought that was just like a cute thing for the sim um, because maybe they like science and I don't know, frogs. I was just kind of, I don't know. That's what I thought. And then I did give them also a mini fridge and a microwave. They're the only, no, I have a, a sim upstairs that has a full kitchen, but 
I felt like this sim maybe doesn't leave this room very often. They're kind of like a homebody and they kind of just stay in here and do their studying, their reading. They don't really go out and socialize too much. They're kind of like, you know, they keep to themselves. So I gave them a mini fridge and a microwave because I thought, you know, like they're not going to go out and find food or go out to eat or go out like in the community space and maybe barbecue much. So they kind of have their little fridge so they can just make quick little meals, little microwave meals and just kind of go back to their studies or go back to their reading. So I figured that that was like a perfect thing for this sim to have. Um, but most of these rooms you'll notice don't have any way of making food. There's no kitchens or anything because I did put a barbecue outside on the side of the building um, right there as you could see it so that your sims can barbecue if they want to. So it's not like they're going to starve. They just have to do it outside of the rooms. Um, and I really just wanted these rooms to be focused on the living part of it. But um, yeah, so now we're moving on to the upstairs. Um, like I said, this whole motel is six units. So we're on unit four and I made this one. Um, in my game, I made it like a brother or sister. So I made like the brother, I think was a young adult and the sister was like a teen, but you could do it however you want. Um, I was just kind of like the idea I was going with. And this is more of like the blue room, um, obviously. And I figured like the brother in this room is very artistic. He's very into art. Um, he loves painting. I gave him the painter career in my game. Um, so I put an easel in here and then I thought maybe the younger sister was very into fitness and yoga and wellness and just like overall like taking care of herself, you know, like that kind of thing. So I put like a yoga mat in here so that they can do like their yoga. Um, and then I put some like yoga decor next to the bed you'll see. Um, and then I gave her like a little water bottle like that. So yeah, that's kind of just where I was going the theme. And then here on the little nightstand, I gave them each their own separate section. So for the brother, I gave him like those melted candles, like maybe he made the candles himself and now he's melt and like he used them and they're melting. I know they're from paranormal, but I just thought they look cool, like maybe homemade. And then I gave him like a little painter's cup with some paint. And then on her side, I gave her like the little wellness water bottle that came with the I think that was with the everyday clutter kit um and a little candle and like a little diary maybe next to her and then yeah like I said I put that yoga stuff at the end of the bed because maybe that's like her yoga equipment um and then I figured this side of the room was kind of more for the sister on the right side and then this left side is more for the brother so I gave him the easel and paint cans and then I gave him like the paint shelf from I think that came with nifty knitting um but it's like painting so I thought that was really cool and then the artwork I did on his side was more of like maybe art he did, like some paintings, some art posters, you know, just some like photos. I do get up putting a camera on the nightstand. I don't know if I do it. Yeah, right here. So I figured maybe the brother's also into photography because I put a lot of photo decor on the walls. So I thought that was nice to give him like a little camera. And then over here is the sister's yoga mat um, and just some pillows that maybe she hangs out in this room with her friends or whatnot. Um, and then I gave her those like athletic decals, I think those I forget what those came with but they're I never really used them but I thought in this room they looked kind of cool and maybe like you know she painted them herself on the wall for herself on the wall or whatever so I just thought those fit, fitness decals were kind of cool so I just stuck those behind her bed um and then yeah and then this is just their bathroom like I said it's basic I gave them like the same shower from downstairs from university like the same toilet all that kind of stuff I probably should have cut the bathroom out but I kind of like was all over the place and going back and forth so I didn't cut it out um but yeah I gave them that new mirror from the love struck kit and it has like all those pictures on it and stuff and I thought that was so cute because I thought maybe it's like photos they took with their friend like maybe like the brother took photos of the sister and her friends and now it's like all over their mirror like I thought that was really cute so I thought that fit this room really nicely um especially since I said maybe he's into photography and then like I gave more candles that maybe look homemade that like maybe the brother made the candles over I just want to decorate that shelf a little bit and just add more clutter items, but I was trying to figure out, like, how to clutter without it looking too, like, I didn't want to put, like, expensive clutter on there, so I just put a couple of random things, um, yeah, and then that's really it, um, and then the bathroom, like I said, is basic, it's just, like, the same sink, except for I used the blue swatch on the bottom because I thought it matched, and same toilet, same shower, um, from the university pack, same towels, I should have cut all this out because it's very repetitive, and I'm sorry, um, 
And it's hard to talk about like the same bathrooms over and over again. <laughs> but yeah, they're very basic. That's why I didn't spend much time in these bathrooms. I just gave them like the basic clutter and that was it. I was done. And I was just trying to fill them up so they didn't look empty. Like some of them here, I use them to be shelves and then I use the clutter from the everyday clutter kit. Um, and yeah, that was really it. Um, I gave them this little blow dryer cause I thought maybe the sister, you know, uses, you know, does her hair or whatever. I don't know. I was just trying to clutter it up in there. Um, but yeah, this is really it for this unit. Um, I did give them these cool little things. I know we got new um, canopies for the beds with a new kit, but like I've seen in other people's videos, I couldn't find them. So I just used the ones from the high school pack. But yeah, so we're moving on to the second to last unit. Um, this is for my like chef sim or my sim that really likes to cook. So I did give this sim like a full kitchen. Um, this is one of, some of the units were a little smaller than the others. So this one I was able to do like a, like a full kitchen in here. Um, so yeah, so that's where I was going with the theme of this room. It's very brown. Um, so I don't know. I just, I don't know why I assume that with cooking, but that's just kind of where I went with the theme. Um, but yeah, so in here you'll see, I do have like a full kitchen and I put that stove right there on the counter. It's like a little like, I don't know, like oven type thing that your Sims can like cook in. But for some reason, my Sims would not use that corner counter to like prep on. I don't know. I, I moved everything. I could not get them to use it. It wouldn't function. So I, um, end up taking that oven thing and moving it and end up going in my Sims, um, uh, what do you call it? In their inventory. Um, and then they were able to use that, that counter it was on. So in the screenshots, you won't see that back, um, on the counter because I forgot to put it back. Um, I will try when I upload this to remember to put it back, but either way you could put it or you could just not use it. Um, but yeah, for some reason I thought your Sims were able to use that corner unit to prep on, but my sim, no matter how hard I tried, would not do it until I moved everything and got rid of that. And then he would, then, you know, my sim used the other counter. Um, but yeah, like I said in the screenshots, I forgot to put it back, but I will try to remember before I upload. If not, um, you could either get one for your sim or you could le you leave it without it or um, maybe you want to get a microwave instead. I don't know. Or maybe you just want to delete that counter altogether and maybe put a stove in there yourself. It's up to you. Um, I was just trying to think of, like, counter space. I didn't really have much. And I was just kind of thinking of, like, small appliances that were functional for them. Um, you could probably even get rid of the stand mixer and just move it over there. I just thought that was, like, a cute appliance. Like, maybe they prep their own ingredients and, you know, then cook themselves. So I just wanted the stand mixer in there. But you can get rid of that. Um, it's all up to you what you want to do when you download this build. If you download this build. Um... But that's just kind of where I was going with it. And then, yeah, so this room was very more, like, I used a lot of items from the horse ranch pack. Um, like that that dresser right there, the, the side table. Um, I don't know. I felt like the sim was very, like, maybe just more of, like, a rustic, maybe, like, a cowboyish type. I don't know. So that's kind of where they went with this room. Like, they just like the old rustic type. Um, yeah, so I used, oh, the counters and the cabinets. Are from the horse ranch also because it just gave it they were one of the on the cheaper side um so I didn't want to use expensive counters either and I just thought that fit perfectly for like like I said the themes I was going with the room like you know maybe these were old cabinets that they somebody was getting rid of in a renovation and they said hey I'll take those cabinets from you and put them in my space so I thought that's why that was a good idea like just to use the more rustic looking ones um and like the old wood type because I thought it just looked really nice in here um and then yeah I used the same thing in this bathroom I gave them the sink and the shower from horse ranch um maybe they actually built it themselves so maybe the sim built their own shower and their own sink maybe they're very handy I didn't even think to go with that but yeah maybe the sim is handy and they decided to do it themselves so that's why everything's all wooden and rustic because they built it themselves um, you could go with that and maybe have a really handy sim in this build too, who's handy and they like to cook. Um, yeah, and that's another trait maybe the sim has, but, um, but yeah, like I said, this is just like the bathroom. It's very basic. I didn't do anything much, um, much more in here. And I gave them, I, I gave them more of like this yellowish tan, like beigey colored tile in there. Also all the tiles, in the bathroom, like the floor and the wall tile, I believe is from the new Love Struck pack too, because I was just, I don't know, I was just trying to use a lot of the new stuff. So yeah. And then I color coded the bathrooms to match, 
you know the rooms also but yeah so here is the last unit um this is the yellow room um and I made this room for more of like an entertainer sim so maybe this sim likes to sing um I put a guitar in here maybe they like to play music or maybe they like to use the microphone to tell jokes um so yeah I made this room for more of like an entertainer sim um and then I gave them another one of those beds that came with the new love struck pack the ones that are just like a mattress and look a little disheveled um but I gave them that really cool like tiger um like comforter one because I just thought it was like really bright and fun and colorful and I just really like the way it looks so I thought like it worked perfectly for this sim in this room um yeah, and I just want to make it work, so I gave, put, I, I put a lot more color in this room, I think, um, just, but I wanted that to be, like, the main staple of this room, so it kind of, like, pops, um, and then I gave them, like, a bunch of mismatched furniture, so I gave them, like, the couch from the basement kit, um, I gave them a beanbag chair, and then one of the chairs, I think that's from Werewolves, like, the little recliner chair, so I thought, like, again, maybe the Sim just went out and, like, picked up this furniture from, like, garage sales or yard sales or you know, whatever the case is found on their marketplace kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I wanted like a bunch of mismatched furniture in here. Um, I thought that was just kind of fun. Um, I do end up moving the chairs over a little bit because, um, when I play tested it, the sim couldn't get around to go to the bathroom. So in the screenshots, it might look a little different, but I tried to keep it. It's pretty much, I just slid them over a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, and then I did a bunch of fun, like music posters on the wall. I gave them the, um, like those records on the wall from I think those are from high school years I thought that was really fun and then you'll see later on I put um like a record player in here and then I use the record clutter from I think it's in the everyday clutter kit it comes with so I thought that was kind of fun like maybe this sims very into music and yeah so I just kind of wanted to have that in here and I just gave them, like I said, a lot of movie m music posters because I thought that was just like fun and you know the sim is just probably went around and collected like a bunch of posters and stuff to like decorate their wall like I didn't really give them any paintings or anything here because I don't think they were very into like that kind of art they were just kind of like into like you know th they can't really afford art so they just kind of went with like the cheaper posters and everything and you know they took these old records and they painted them and, and used that as decor um so I just thought that was kind of fun and then here I hang up these um clothing like racks over the bed I think those are from also the high school years pack and I gave him some clothing from the high school years because I thought maybe this was like like a young adult sim I think I went with but more maybe more on like the youthful side and they kind of like act a little bit younger um and they're more like fun and youthful and they like color and you know I was just kind of so I kind of use a lot of high school years stuff in this because I figured maybe they're not in high school anymore maybe they're like in university but they still act kind of like maybe a little immature for their age just because they don't want to grow up but I just thought it was kind of fun and I gave him like a lot of gaming clutter like I gave him the board games up there and like that like gaming clutter from that might have been from the high school years too I'm not sure but I just thought that was kind of fun to put up there maybe they like video games um yeah and then I used that really fun colorful like poof side table next to it um with like a lava lamp because I just thought that was kind of fun in here and it just kind of looked right um and then I gave them like these stars I think I used that in one of the other bedrooms too downstairs but I thought that was kind of fun in here too to give them those star lights um yeah and then I just put some fun curtains I was gonna use these ones from werewolves if, like at first because like I want I wanted it to look like maybe they just like used you know ones that were like olds what do you call them but um yeah I didn't think they fit in here very nicely and they didn't look right and they kind of were sitting on the wall and cutting through so I decided to use those ones from the high school years again um they're just kind of like sheer and maybe they like made the curtain themselves too and they just cut like a sheet and tied it up made it look cool so I thought that was that was nice and then like I said here I put like this little table there I think that's from the ba basement kit also this this table and then like the record clutter and then I saw this record player I think this record player is also from the party kit um and I thought it just looked really nice because it wasn't like a really nice record player and it looks like maybe they just like took a piece of furniture and stuck the record player on top and then stuck some like actual extra records underneath um so I thought it fit this room really nicely and I really like the one that came with that kit um, and then, yeah, this is like the bathroom I'm going to end up doing. I had to move the door and stuff, but it is functional. I play tested it. You can use this bathroom, but yeah. So I apologize if you hear any background noise. Um, 
there is somebody out there weed whacking. So if you hear any of that, I apologize um, for any banging. But um, yeah, so this is just the bathroom in here. Like I said, same toilet, same sink. Um, I use one of the showers. I think it's from university. I put the same towels. It's, it's very basic. I've basically cluttered it up the same way as the other ones. I just put some posters in here. Um, that was a new photo that came with a new pack, but I'm going to get rid of that picture in here because I just didn't look like the way it looked. Um, but yeah, so this is it for the build. If you guys like it, um, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let me know which one was your favorite unit in here. Um, yeah, and let me know if you guys have any recommendations for a future build. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So have a great day. Bye. Bye.